I finally found it guys, I finally found it. After 9 years of industry experience and searching for the perfect physical remote controller accessory that can speed up my digital painting workflow, I finally found something that can truly replace the keyboard with its intuitive and uniquely ergonomic design, presenting the Toolbox Lite by Toolbox Tech. And the best part, unlike its expensive predecessors, the new and compact Toolbox Lite comes for just dollars. I guess you'll have to stick around till the end to find out. It's a perfect companion to my Wacom Cintiq and in this video I'll talk about exactly why this has been a game changer for me. Hello what's up peeps, this is Geek Artist back again with another review video where I'll be talking about a very unique device that literally took me years to find. A device so intuitive, compact and ergonomic in design that it significantly sped up my workflow and generally made the digital painting experience a whole lot smoother and enjoyable. I'm talking about the Toolbox Lite. And in this video, I won't waste any time unboxing the controller or talking about its many basic features and technicalities which you can easily find anywhere on the internet. I'll dive right into the core reasons why I found this so useful and not remotely gimmicky or inefficient to use like the other devices in this category such as those by Wacom or Zenzel Labs among others. After years of searching and trying out many devices, I finally found something that truly works for me and is budget friendly which is why I want you all to know about this. And before I dive any further, a word of caution, this video is not sponsored by Toolbox Tech. This is a genuine and honest review of the controller after using it for almost 2 weeks straight. I hope Toolbox Tech notices this video and maybe considers me in the future for an actual sponsored video and maybe let me try out their Toolbox Elite for free. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Alright then. Talking about the initial setup, I honestly had a bit of a hard time setting up the buttons but it didn't have anything to do with any sort of poor UI design of the software or anything from Toolbox side. It was more about me trying to figure out what really works for me. Among a wide array of keys and functions available, I had to try and figure out which ones I should assign to the limited number of buttons on the device. Limited but sufficient. Sufficient because even with just 8 physical buttons on the light, the robust console software can efficiently fit tons of shortcuts into these 8 buttons, while at the same time keeping the accessibility simple and easy for artists. And they're able to achieve this through features such as macro, which helps simplify repetitive steps and redundancies in workflow, letting you optimize your complicated and repetitive everyday functions that require multiple shortcuts allowing you to achieve over 50 plus actions with just 8 physical buttons on the light. And to manage and keep track of all this, you have the tool menu, which is a compact tool drawer and lets you customize your personalized menu of all your favorite shortcuts and the designated buttons and call it out with just one click. Also when you have more than just 8 to 10 favorite shortcuts that you use very often, you can make more shortcuts and functions accessible under the palm of your hand by using combo between buttons. Features like these really make the console a really carefully crafted and robust software that lets you harness the full power of the toolbox controller. And it can feel a lot to figure out at first, so I'll advise you to spend some time with the device and the software, try out different combinations and assign the essential functions and keys which you really really use the most. Since I primarily use Adobe Photoshop for digital art, I most frequently use keys like B, V, L, R and Z to toggle between different tools such as brush, move, lasso, rotate and zoom and combinations of keys such as control, alt, shift and space for various functions such as undo, redo, zoom, scroll, pan, duplicate, save and so on. So I absolutely need to have some of these designated to the buttons on the controller. I also very frequently use the square bracket keys for increasing and decreasing the size of my brush, so I can't forget that either. 
It's a fantastic thing that the controller has not just one, but two rotating knobs or dials that I can use to designate both of these functions I use the most while painting digitally, rotating the canvas and changing brush size. I feel this has been a total game changer and has helped significantly increase the speed of my workflow. So after some trial and error, once you're all set up through their software console, it's pretty much smooth sailing from there on. I no longer had to worry about switching back and forth between buttons spread across my keyboard, far away from each other, on a keyboard far away from my drawing tab. It's all in one place now, all under the palm of my hand. I don't even have to move my elbow anymore to reach buttons. It's so much easier and intuitive now. My forearm stays in one place, pivoted at the wrist and just slightly rotating my palm does the trick while the fingers comfortably navigate between the buttons and knobs. I use my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD for creating digital art and editing videos at my home office and the Cintiq 16 at my day job. As you can see, my Cintiq 13, which has been my humble companion for 7 years, already comes with a lot of hot keys. But did I ever use them? The answer is no. Firstly, they are extremely stiff and not at all easy to press. Pressing these buttons for an hour would give you guaranteed wrist pain. And I also had to move my hand quite a bit to reach across between the buttons at the top and bottom, which is why I normally resorted to using my good old keyboard instead. But for years, I've been searching for something with an intuitive, compact, thoughtful and ergonomic design that can truly replace my keyboard and I finally found it in the Toolbox Lite. And unlike Cintiq's rock stiff hotkeys, the buttons on Toolbox Lite are extremely tactile, accessible and easy to press, requiring no more than almost feather light pressure to register a click. On top of that, I didn't notice any significant delays. Besides this, I love the matte finish material that makes it a really good experience to hold. It's not very heavy and the grip at the bottom is really really good. I haven't noticed it slide or get displaced on the desk even slightly during my regular workflow. It sits very nicely and firmly on the table and just fits perfectly in my left hand. It's clear that it has been designed keeping the human hand in mind. It just feels really good to hold on to. It just, just works. I've been able to adapt to this very easily because of how intuitive this is. I don't really have to look at the device at all to figure out which button does what and where they're at. Because of its compact and ergonomic design, my hand's muscle memory has been able to adapt to it very easily, while I can't say the same for the other controllers I've used in the past. One minor drawback for some would be the missing Bluetooth feature, which is something you would expect at this price point, but for me it's been a very very minor gripe. The USB connectivity works fine for me. Now coming back to the biggest reason why this has helped speed up my workflow. The rotating knob at the center which I designated the Rotate tool in Photoshop. As a digital artist, I frequently need to rotate the canvas to tap into the natural stroke flow of my right hand. Since I don't have the option of easily rotating the entire Cintiq like a physical canvas to align with my hand's natural stroke flow, I need to use the Rotate tool to rotate the Photoshop canvas itself. This leads to a very few undos and a faster workflow, but the process of toggling to the R button and manually rotating the canvas with a pen isn't a very intuitive process. This is where the central knob on the toolbox light comes handy, mimicking the actual rotational directions I follow otherwise on my canvas. The other huge use case is changing the brush size, which I have to do constantly while painting, and pressing two different buttons to increase and decrease the size isn't a very intuitive process. This is where the dial wheel on the top left corner of the toolbox light comes handy, making the process of changing the brush size more natural and smooth, like literally dialing up the size or dialing it down. Also, besides rotating, these knobs or dials are also clickable, so I can click the dial wheel toggle to the brush tool and I can click the central knob toggle to the move tool. Another huge use case which has sped up my workflow is optimizing the undo and redo functions which I use a lot. So I designated Ctrl Z and Ctrl Alt Z to these two adjacent buttons on the top right corner to make the process more efficient and intuitive. Besides these Zooming in and zooming out is also something I do a lot but I prefer to do it with the combination of Z and my pen so that I can pinpoint exactly which part I want to zoom into. 
And I shouldn't forget to mention his eye-free control design, which has been a huge plus for me. Being used to using keyboard for years and having memorized exactly what's where, the iFree design was really helpful for me in easily adapting to this compact device. Having all the essential buttons and functions perfectly under control without ever having to take my eyes off the canvas screen has been very important to me. And lastly, I would like to apologize for using the word intuitive way too much in this video, as you've probably noticed. I just couldn't help it. Because intuitive is exactly how my experience with using this controller has been and I highly recommend this if you're looking to efficiently speed up your workflow. Finally, I'd like to conclude this video with the question, do you really need it? Well, to be honest, the answer depends on who you are and at what stage you are in at the present. If you are a student or a beginner just starting out, then at a price point of $95, I wouldn't say you need it. I advise you to invest that money in a good basic budget tablet and in courses or art schools where you can gather knowledge, learn skills and strengthen your art fundamentals and basics. However, if you're a working professional, be it a novice, experienced or a veteran who wants to significantly speed up your workflow, making it more efficient and more intuitive and enjoyable experience, then definitely yes, I completely recommend this beautiful device. They also have two other more advanced models called the Toolbox Neo and Toolbox Elite which come with more buttons and cool features like dual channel Bluetooth and haptic feedback. I feel they're worth considering if you travel around a lot or use multiple computers and require more precise control overall. I can safely say Toolbox will be a very worthwhile investment and one of the most powerful, effective and efficient tools in your arsenal. Toolbox is available on Amazon. You can also place your order from their website. The links are in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, learned something useful and would like to see more such useful content in the future, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications of my future uploads. So that's all for now, see you on the next one. Peace.